Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I just wanted to talk to you guys about a possible iPod Nano 6th generation jailbreak. This guy named James Welton managed to hack his 6th generation iPod Nano, and he actually bypassed the cache comparison of the device, which resulted in installing of a hack on the springboard of the iPod Nano, uh, which then allowed him to create a blank space. So basically, the hack is just the removal of an app and the creation of a blank space. It's what most people who hack their iOS devices use to create create complex themes is just basically blank spots in their springboard. So he's saying that uh, that's not the actual important part, but what's really important is the bypass of the Nano's cache comparison, which compares the modified springboard file and reverts it if it doesn't like it. So he says that this opens up the possibility of hacking and modding while not adding bootloaders or any of that other stuff. So basically bootloaders can be complex and that's why sometimes the jail breaks take forever to come out but with this I'm assuming that you'd be able to jailbreak it on any version whatever uh, version of operating system it's running it doesn't matter you most likely will be able to jailbreak it now don't quote me on that that's just what I take from this and that's just what I understand from it uh, also, he said that in the device's plist are references of movies, TV shows, apps, games, V cards, calendar events, and so on. So basically, a plist file is just a file that tells your device what it can and cannot do. So if you guys remember correctly, in the iPhone 3G, there was actually a plist setting for some things that were disabled in it in iOS 4. Now, the things include uh, like Game Center and also multitasking and just certain things like that. Well, this has those, but they're not enabled, obviously. Basically, he's just saying that it looks like uh, the same OS that the older iPod Nanos had just rehashed. So that would explain a lot if it has those things mentioned in the plist file. And he's saying that with his jailbreak, it could lead to all those things and a few other things, such as passcode lock and possibly even themes. He didn't say that, but that's just what I'm taking from it. So uh, this is actually what he managed to do right here. I managed to pause on the video so you guys can see that where there's a blank spot. And also, this is his website right here, and it has a closer up uh, picture of it right here so as you can see the icon is not there so that's actually pretty cool there's another one there his video there and just some interesting stuff that he has on his little blog thing or whatever you want to call it you guys can follow it I will give you a link in the more info and also you can follow his Twitter I will include that in the more info too and also follow my Twitter That'll be in the more info too, and I will keep you guys updated on the latest in the iPod Nano hack. So I hope you guys like this video, just letting you know about the possible 6th generation iPod Nano jailbreak. So please subscribe to me to be updated, follow my Twitter. Remember to comment and rate this video. This is ICU, signing out.